There has been a lot of discussion since the latest patch as to what Smite's hunters should be building in order to make them the most effective. This video is going to help answer that question by talking about which of the three starter items are the most beneficial for you to pick up. Let's dive in. As it stands right now, there are three main items that hunters like to build into first. Devourer's Gauntlet, Transcendence, and Bloodforge. But different situations call for these different items. But when we run the numbers, perhaps they're going to give us a little bit more of a definite answer on when we should be picking these items up. So let's start with Devourer's Gauntlet. This item costs 2300 gold, and you get 30 power and 15% lifesteal when you purchase it. After you build the 70 stacks on this item, this is going to change to 65 power and 29% lifesteal. So per 100 gold spent, we're going to get 2.8 power and 1.26% lifesteal. Now let's move on to Transcendence. For 2600 gold, you get 35 power, 300 mana, and 10 MP5, which is just mana per 5 seconds, before we start stacking. After stacking, this item gives us 10% cooldown reduction, and based off of per stack metrics, we get 750 mana. Now, of course, the final perk of Transcendence is we get 3% of our maximum mana converted to power, which means for our final tally, if we're, say, like a level 10 Uller, we're going to have about 62.9 power before we stack and 85.4 power and that 10% cooldown cool down reduction once the stacks are done. So per 100 gold spent, Transcendence gives us 3.2 power, the mana, and the cooldown reduction. Now finally we have Bloodforge. 2800 gold gives you 75 power, 15% lifesteal, and this cool protective bubble when you kill someone. The big plus of building Bloodforge is there's no time spent stacking. When you buy this item, you're just going to get these stats. But it is more expensive to compensate for that. Anyways, per 100 gold spent, you're going to get 2.67 power and about half a percent of lifesteal. So what does all this fun math tell us? What have I been going on about? Pretty much what I've been going on all along. If you're an ability-based hunter, then you're going to be relying on doing damage primarily through abilities. This is when you're going to pick up Transcendence. If your playstyle is ability-based, pick it up. It's a good item. And then make sure you continue to itemize into that ability damage. Don't abandon your building path. And then if you're going to be relying on auto attacks to do your damage, you're going to be much better off going into Devourer's Gauntlet. It's in my humble opinion that the extra lifesteal and the 500 gold are going to make you better off than waiting and rushing into Bloodforge. Oh, but Celtic, we didn't talk about Soul Eater. You are 100% right. Soul Eater is situational at best, and I'm not really a huge fan of it on Hunters in general. It's really good on Pele, though. Now, don't forget, subscribe if you're new, and if you want to keep learning more about Smite, click on that video on your screen now, and I'm going to see you there.